is loud. Now this, uh-huh, yeah. Loud, uh, look. <laughs> yeah, see, I got nothing but love for you. That's all we spread it to him. I swear I can't complain. Feel like I'm highly favored. I see progression to press forward, pushing myself, applying a pressure from every angle. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my silent gun build version 2. If you didn't see the first video, then uh, it'll pop up right, right about right there. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm kind of sad because. Airsoft junkies, they uh, they kind of copied my gun, and uh, it even has the same suppressor. But anyways, that's in the past. Okay, this is the future. This is the future. Okay, so I made a new gun build, and I want to show you guys it. So let's go right into the gun build then. So first off, the body is a combat machine Predator. You can tell it's a Predator because of the rail system. It's uh, it looks pretty nice. It has those little slants right there, and it kind of has like a it kind of has like a cat front on it, I don't know, because like there's the eye, there's the mouth, there's the teeth, and it, it's going to eat you up. Next on my build is my custom paracord uh, grip that I made on here. It just, I don't know, I like it, it adds a little bit of grip, as you know from my last video, I, I, I really like paracord. Anyways, next on my gun, I have uh, this flashlight, it's a, it's a pretty good flashlight, it's a thousand lumens, and uh, I like it, I got it from Amazon, the thing has a surefire comes with a mount, two batteries, charger, whatever, 20 bucks. But anyways, overall, the, the light's very, very powerful for uh, how cheap it is. Now, next on this build, um, I got this red dot. I got this red dot from my, my friend, because he kind of lost my red dot, so he gave me this one. I don't like the, the battery compartment, though. It, it holds, like, three different batteries right there. It's very weird. But it has these cool uh, covers that sort of work sometimes. Next, this is a part from my last build. Um, I got the angled foregrip because I love angled foregrips. I love them so much. They uh, they help me out because I, I like to see clamp and it just it makes it feel feel good, feel really good. All right, so now here's the thing that makes it quiet: the suppressor. Um, I may get a new suppressor soon. They are making suppressors that have like baffles and um, and compression chambers um, built in brand new so I'm gonna get one of those they're like 40 bucks if you want a link to them just hit me up I'll put a link to them let's take this puppy off and take a look at what's inside all right so what I like about the suppressor on this gun is um, it fits right right into there it's like very tight fit um, here's my barrel. I have a 6.01 tight bore barrel inside of here because I do not believe in wide bores. I think that they actually make your accuracy worse. And you can look up videos and stuff on it and make your own opinion, but I think that they make your accuracy worse. But anyways, let's open up this suppressor and see what's inside. There we go. That's what's inside right there. Little foam things. Little cute foam things. Kind of weird. Um, I think I found a link to these on eBay. If you want a link to them, just tell me. I'll give you a link to them. Alright, again, just like the last build, I have my Inferno 10 2 inside of here. I'm thinking about getting the recoil shock for it, but I'm not very sure about that. I, it requires a lot of uh, modification, so if you guys think I should get it, then please let me know. Like I said in the last video, the Inferno Gen 2 is a lot quieter than regular systems because it only has one moving part, and that moving part is the nozzle. And uh, as you can tell, it barely makes any noise. The only noise that's coming from it is the nozzle and the solenoid. And the solenoid is a single solenoid, so it's very, very quiet. Again, we have my 6.01 millimeter barrel. This is a Swiss Arms barrel. And then inside of the hopper, it's a KWA bucking. I like the KWA buckings because they work very, very well. Um, they have like these little ridges on them, as you can see right there. Those, uh, I like to think, help my BB spin more accurately. Alright everybody, so that was my gun build. If you like this build and want to see more, then please leave a like down below and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. If you want to see a shooting test on this gun, then head over to my other video. Again, 
little thing somewhere right there. All right.